<laughs> My name is Napalm. I am the lead singer and electric guitarist, occasionally piano or hiatus KOD. There's never really been a pivotal moment when it was like, when I realized music affecting me. Like, I was really blessed to grow up um, in a household that was really creative and musical and, uh, you know. I, like my first memory that I could pinpoint it to would probably be riding this yellow trike I had um, around this massive house in South Yarra that I lived with my mom and my siblings. And uh, my mom loved like old soul, like Stevie Wonder and uh, Aretha Franklin and Al Green and stuff. So I remember riding circles around the house, listening to Master Blaster. No, not Master Blaster. Boogie on Reggae Woman by Stevie Wonder. And uh, you know when you think back to when you were a kid and there's like a few moments of like joy that was just like all encompassing, that, that, that was one of them, so. But you know, my mother was a contemporary dancer and so, and she was in the Australian Ballet Company when she was 19. She studied dance and used to bring home a lot of different music. Like soul was kind of a staple, but you know, she'd bring home like a lot of flamenco and like West African music. So I'm an orphan and when I when my mother was sick, I lived with my auntie, so her sister. So growing up in a household full of like soul and flamenco and stuff and then moving into a household where the head matriarch was like heavily submerged in classical Indian culture. So I was really lucky to just be surrounded by amazing culture and also like the celebration of different cultures around the world from a young age, just from like my mother and my auntie's influence. So like, it's always been something that I've adored, you know, and been completely fascinated with. Music is, it's not, it's just, I've always sung and I've always written and, you know, like I, I never had any lessons or anything, but it was just always a sanctuary, I guess. And then, I mean, like, from I had a pretty crazy childhood. Like, yeah. Like, my dad was an alcoholic um, jewelry maker, ex bikey that um, that left when I was very young. And then, um, and then my mother died when I was 11. So, to to grow up in such a warm, musical, creative environment, and then to go through. Um, a harsh emotional trauma as a kid it, it really to have those tools of you know expressing yourself creatively is really important and I feel like a lot of the best artistic culture around the world is is the reaction to struggle you know like a lot of people um, victimize themselves I guess when when uh, confronted with trauma but I, I feel like it's a, a seed you know, to react against it and to to know your depths and to to really measure how you how you come back from that. And uh, music was always definitely uh, therapeutical and and, uh, and 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 so so important to my like personal evolution. Like regardless of whether it sounded good, you know. Uh, the cool thing is, is like learning you know, from a young age, how important it is to me as a person. But I think what really made me make that transition into sharing it with other people didn't come from a place of like, I need the validation of other people, but more like, this works for me and other people might not have the ability to write or make sense of whatever it is they're going through. So by displaying all of your shit, people can, People can see it in themselves or can grow through empathically through listening to it, which is what I did when I was little. Like, you know, like the music that you experience heals you and you relate to it, even though you may not have had the exact experience that 
that person was going through, like you can find your own way to relate to it. And so uh, I've found it really beautiful to be on the other side of that conversation and to be able to, yeah, to be able to give people relief. If you like this series and you want to subscribe, check out Being Here YouTube channel. I think my microphone is in my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that That's your side. Get the extra bass. <laughs> Straight. If you like this series and you want to check out more from Being Here YouTube channel, I fucked it up, so. Here we go. 300 more times like that. <laughs> If you like this series and you want to check out more videos, subscribe to Being Here YouTube channel.